Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to discuss about latest CCRA exam update. So let's have a look what updates recently Cisco made. This is actually one of the minor updates we have. In today's network, there's an increased focus on cloud automations and AI. And this shift reflected in new CCNA versions, which is called version V1.1. And mostly in here, uh, they included AI, machine learning, and Terraform. These are the new topics they actually added. The blueprint changes for CCNA that will go live on August 2024. That means if you want to do the exam before 20th of August, these changes will not have any impact in your exam. But if you do exam after 20th of August 2024, then these changes will take effect and this is important for you. Now let's have a look what changes actually we have. In here, there is a comparison version 1.0, which is currently we have. And after 20, 20th of August, we'll have version 1.1. In version 1.0, we already have basic operations of rapid PBST plus spanning tree protocol. Part of that we have root port, root bridge, and other port names, port states and roles, port first. Basically, they are all, all of the stuffs they are related with spanning tree protocol. But what has changed in here, all the topics will remain the same, but new things has been updated, which is root guard, loop guard, BPDU guard, and BPDU filter. So these are the new updates we have in here. And from version one, we have access point, WLC management access like telnet, SSH, HTTP, HTTPS, console, TACAX, TDS, all these stuffs uh, we have from version one. So everything will remain same, only network devices. Instead of AP and WLC, they have added network device in here and also cloud managed. These two topics has been added uh, in these new versions. Now compare traditional campus device management with Cisco DNA Center in Apple device management. In here, what new things has been added? Explain AI, which is generic versions or uh, some generic terms has been added related with AI and machine learning in network operations. So these new topics has been added. Then from 6.5, describe characteristics of REST-based APIs, which is crude, HTTP verbs, and data encoding. These are the uh, topics we have from version one, but in new versions, everything will remain same. In additions, authentication types will be added. And with the last one, recognize the capabilities of configuration management mechanisms such as Puppet, Safe, and Ansible. In here, everything else will remain same except um, Puppet and Safe will not be there, and Ansible will be there, and Terraform will be added. Terraform is the new additions we have with this Ansible. These are the new changes we have. In a nutshell, if you'd like to have a look, what are the latest changes we have? These are the new inclusions we have. Let's say uh, root guard, loop guard, BPDU filter, BPDU guard, all these things, they are related with our spanning tree protocol. Around that areas, these are the new terminology has been added. Then in network device, instead of WLC, WLC will be there in additions or instead of WLC, describe network device and cloud management, mostly around WLC or wireless LAN controller around that areas. This new intuition has been added, which is cloud managed. And explain artificial intelligence, machine learning. This new terminology has been added. Describe characteristics of REST-based APIs. In additions, authentication types has been added and also configuration management areas. Ansible will be there. Puppet and Chef has been removed and Terraform has been added. These are the configuration management tools. So these are the latest changes we have. Now we have looked at all these latest changes we have from Cisco side. Based on this information, so you can see there is actually very minor changes. It could be around 5%. So it will not have any huge impact you, with your exam. But if you do exam before 20th of August 2024, then you do not have to do anything with these changes. But if you take exam after 20th of August 2024, then these changes may affect in your exam. So what I'm going to do around those changes. So I have a plan. So according to my plan, I'm going to update this new syllabus with my course as well. 
So as soon as it's available, I'm going to upload this course for you. I hope this information was informative for you and thank you for watching.